Good morning from Kentucky. Ron here again. I thought we'd take a look into First uh, Corinthians chapter 2. There's a wealth of knowledge here concerning the carnal and the immortal. The earthly and the spiritual. Paul taught in depth here. And I thought we would just read through and then pull out any nuggets that we have. And we may even talk about the seven things of verses 9 through 14. First Corinthians chapter two, verse one. And I, he's talking about himself here. Brethren, brethren. Hmm. When I came to you, came not with excellently of speech or enticing speech or college learned speech but plain honest speech came to you with excellently of speech or of wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of God for I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified Knowing Jesus Christ and accepting his crucifixion and repenting of your sin, sins is going to take you to heaven. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit, capital S, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, and of power. That's what preaching needs to have today. It's not to be a learned speech. I believe you should have an outline. I believe you should study to show yourself approved unto God. And to lead your congregation in the way that you need it to go. But you need demonstration. What is demonstration? If you look in your church, it's works. And it's the gifts of the Spirit moving within the congregation. The Holy Spirit. And of power. The church has power. Believers, brethren, have power. Don't ever think that you don't. The devil will seek to tell you you don't, but you do. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. A lot of people will assail the word of God and tell you you don't have the word of God. But I'm here to tell you if you have a King James authorized version Bible, you have the word of God that God chose for the English-speaking people today. Now, all these other newfangled versions, uh, I got to admit, whenever a preacher starts preaching out of one of them, I turn them off. I have no need for the West Court and Hort garbage that they base their uh, Bibles on. West Court court and heart wouldn't even uh, saved individuals if you get into their uh, letters and their correspondence from back in the day how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect teleos is the Greek word complete doesn't mean perfect like fault it means 
complete. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world came unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So there goes to tell you that Lucifer and or Satan, whatever you want to call him, the adversary, the Diablos, uh, doesn't know it all. God knows it all. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither had entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Do you love God? I hope so. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. That's why whenever you get into the Word, if you say, well, I have a hard time understanding the King James Bible, that old English language. Well, all you got to do is pray. Ask God the Holy Ghost to show you things in it. Let him direct you, and you'll find the Bible easy to understand. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him, even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto them. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. We got to see things through the spiritual eye. We got to learn things through the spiritual knowledge. We got to let God the Holy Ghost be God the Holy Ghost. Let's look at note K here in the Dake Annotated. Seven things of verse 9 through 14. One, the things prepared by God. God has prepared things for us. Your walk in your faith is not a haphazard deal. God is with you through God the Holy Ghost every step you take. And I love that uh, old picture that they have of Jesus walking on the beach and he's carrying one of his children. There's only one set of footprints in the sand. It's God's footprints, Jesus Christ. Two, the deep things of God. You can understand the deep things of God. Roman tells us that we can even understand his Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we can clearly understand what heaven, the planet heaven, it's a planet. It's not a vapor that you just fly around on. It is a better land, it's called in Scripture. So taking the Bible literally, wherein it all possible, that means that it's a better land, just like it says. You can understand if you just take the Bible for what it says. Let the Bible interpret itself. As well as the deep things of God, you can understand the things of man. You can understand how they don't last forever. The things of man are corruptible, their flesh.
the things of God as differentiated from the deep things of God. God has commonplace things. He has the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues for the church today. I know there's whole denomination that believes uh, in the cessationist way of interpreting Scripture. But I'm here to tell you, I got saved in 1985 after an upbringing in the uh, Church of Christ. And I got saved. I come out of a dead, tarred church and got into a living, moving, vibrant church. I know that feelings and emotions are the caboose on the train to heaven. But I also know that God has feelings. And God has emotions. Because the Bible tells us that. Five things freely given by God. He'll give us everything we need. Spiritual things. And seven, the things of the Spirit of God. Today, God has given us everything we need in order to make heaven our home. To have a right relationship with Him is on these pages. And we've got to take them off of these pages and put them into our heart. If we don't put them into our heart, they're not going to do us any good whatsoever. So, dearly beloved, as the Apostle Paul was teaching here, apply spiritual understanding to spiritual things and carnal understanding to carnal things. You can't understand the Spirit of God thinking carnal. That's where most of the errors of the church come from today. Get yourself a King James Bible if you don't have one. I've got all kinds of other Bibles here, and I've gone through them and compared them verse by verse to the uh, King James. And they say different things. So if you go back to Psalms 12 and 7, and God is supposed to have preserved his word, you're confronted with a question. Which version is it? All of the others, the newer versions that they keep bringing out because people say they can't understand this word because it's written in Old English, uh, just are based on that West Court and Hort uh, flawed Alexandrian manuscript Greek. And it tends to support the popery uh, system of the Roman Catholic Church. So it is my advice to you that you get yourself a good King James Bible and then you study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. I know I quote that verse a lot. I love that verse. It is a very decent verse to take into your heart to learn and to keep repeating. Uh, the devil don't like it. And I'm glad he don't like it. God bless you from Kentucky is my prayer for you. We love you. We honor you. And uh, we invite you to stop in at our Facebook page, Cross of Christ Ministries of Richmond, Kentucky. God bless you is my prayer. Have a great day. Blessed day.